So today I'm going to be reviewing the Sharon Carter figure from the Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave. So here on the front, you can see the figure inside here with the Infinity Ultron head and weapons and fisted hands. Some artwork of Sharon Carter there. On the back, we have the description of Sharon Carter, her, and the other figures in this wave. And some more artwork on this side. We've got the Captain America logo here on the top. So now let's get this thing open and check it out. So this is what she looks like out of the packaging. Overall, this figure is not bad. The head sculpt looks pretty good. The eyes look a little bit off, but they're not horrible. So she comes with an extra set of hands. So she has the gripping hands, the fisted hands there. This little knife. I guess they call this like a baton type deal. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure Parts, Infinity Ultron Head, and the Infinity Ultron Weapon. Two pieces here, and they just go together. So the big weapon here for Infinity Ultron. Okay, so here's a closer look at the face scan here of the head sculpt. Overall, it's not bad. It looks pretty close to the actual actress. But to me, the eyes look just a little bit off for some reason. But the hair, the hair don't look too bad. You got sort of the, the shading there at the top. The jacket's pretty cool because you have sort of the hoodie underneath here. The blue hoodie. Well, part of the blue hoodie. <laughs> and then the sort of raincoat jacket over the top. It's pretty cool. You can see a zipper and stuff there. She's got this black shirt underneath. I like all the pockets and buttons and everything on the coat. It looks pretty cool. And then her belt. And there's some wrinkles and things here on the pant legs. She's got these boots down here. You can see the back side here. Underneath the coat here. Uh, not a whole lot. You can see sort of the back of what's supposed to be the hoodie. Right there. Other than that, there's not much else. And some wrinkles and everything on the jacket. And then the hood back here under her hair. Turn her head to the side so you can see it a little better. And sort of the back of her hair there. So here's a little bit closer look at the accessories. So here is this knife here. This knife's pretty plain. It really doesn't have much detail or anything. It's pure black and really flimsy. So definitely not. A great accessory. Baton type deal. It doesn't look too bad. It has some pretty cool detailing here. The handle and stuff down here. The gripping hands over here. Mm, don't look too bad. So now for the articulation portion. So she can look down a little bit. But her hair on the sides sort of restrict it a little bit. Up a little bit. Same thing. Sort of her hair and the hood. Back here sort of restrict her head. Moving backwards. But she does look up a little bit. Rotation side to side. Tad bit. Let's see. Her arms go up pretty far. She does not have a bicep swivel. Elbows there. Her wrist go down a little. Oh gosh. Go down a little bit. But not very much really. Sort of restricted here. Then up. Not very much. She can bend forward a little bit. Not very much though. And back. Not much at all because of the coat. And whoosh. She does not have a waist cut. She does have thigh cuts though. Double jointed knees with the pins. Um, her ankles go down that far and up that far. And they do rotate side to side. So now I am going to go put her in my collection. So I'll show you that real quick. So here is my Captain America section of my collection. And I'm going to put Sharon Carter right back there, sort of by Steve Rogers and all of them. And I will leave a link to her in the description if you guys decide to pick her up. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.